Hello YouTubers, I'm Justin and today on Dash and Run we're going to be having a look at a batteryless uh, doorbell. Now I've got a battery operated doorbell with a mains powered uh, receiver and basically what this unit is is the transmitter is batteryless and the receiver is still mains power but you don't need to worry about batteries. Now I find that the battery operated uh, doorbells often fail quite quickly and they also tend to set themselves off when they start to fail they tend to set the unit off. So basically I've got this in to um, set it up and have a look at it. Now I've seen these on eBay and I've seen them on Amazon and I've seen a couple of other YouTubers also have a look at them and generally I thought they looked quite good. Now this particular one it comes from Limtech and it's a Chinese one and so basically I'm going to show you what you've got in the box and then I'll um, show you it up on the wall when I've finished installing the unit. So anyway, let's get in the box and see what we've actually got in here. Okay, so first of all we've got the transmitter, which I've brought out the box, and basically it's quite compact, but it's round, so it's a bit unusual because it's a bit larger than maybe your normal doorbell, which will be more rectangle shaped. Now it's got an adhesive back, which will be used to stick to the other part, which I'll show you in a minute. And basically when you push this, you'll see a little blue LED light up and that's um, now generating power. And it works like a little dynamo, I suppose, inside so that when you push it down, it juice, reduces power and it will send a transmission to the receiver. Next is the receiver itself and it's got a couple of buttons on there. They're basically to change the tones. Now, unfortunately, the uh, receiver I have here is not the Australian standard plug. So they've sent me an adapter, which is a shame because I would have liked it to plug straight in the wall, but with the adapter, at least it still works. So that's the uh, receiver with the adapter. Next is a little manual and also a sticker basically telling you to push the doorbell, but unfortunately all of these are in um, Mandarin, so they're no use to me, but you do get these in the box. You also get a set of screws and wall plugs. And then you get this foam adhesive uh, backing, which you use to uh, mount the unit to a wall. Now, just coming back to the adhesive back, basically it's um, a foam material and it's not really going to be suitable for mounting on a wall because the screws will pull through. So I thought this isn't that great of an idea. So I looked around and I managed to find in my local hardware, basically this thing, which is basically something like this, but it's got a, an adhesive back on there but it's a hard plastic, so the screws will not pull through. So it's something to watch out for, that the included um, adhesive back is okay for certain material, but if you're gonna put it on something that's quite strong and you don't want it easily ripped off, I would recommend looking in your hardware store for something like this. Anyway, let's go and um, install this uh, doorbell and I'll show you it operating. Okay, so now the doorbell's in, and as you can see, I've got that plastic ring thing that I was showing you earlier behind, and it's holding it really well and tight. So next, let's give the doorbell a ring and see how well it works. Well, that seems to work really well. So next, let me get my assistant to help me out to demonstrate the different ringtones to you. Okay, I've got my cat Rhea here and I'm just going to ask her, Rhea, do you mind if you would go outside and test the doorbell so I can show the audience the different ringtones? Right, Rhea, start pushing the doorbell and keep ringing and I'll tell you when to stop when we've finished testing these ringtones out. Okay Rhea, you can stop now. I think the audience gets the general idea of what the sounds are like. Anyway, as you can see, I'm quite happy with my new doorbell and even if my cat overused it, it still works really well. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.